For the past 40 years, Jackie Chan has entertained and inspired millions of people around the world with his action comedy. He's a big reason why I got into parkour and now stunts. My name is Omar Zaki. I'm an actor and stuntman here in Los Angeles, California. And there's something that I've always wanted to know. And so today, I am giving myself the ultimate challenge to see if I can fight like Jackie Chan. Now, fighting like Jackie Chan is no easy feat. Is this something that I can even come remotely close to pulling off? I think so, and here's why. First, I work in stunts here in Hollywood. Second, is I've made a lot of action videos. And third, and probably most importantly of all, is I've got some great friends. But before we can even start to create a fight scene, first we've got to figure out exactly what makes Jackie Chan fight so special. And if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna need some help. So I'm here with my friends who are also stunt performers here in Los Angeles. My name is Brett Metter. I've done stunts on shows like The Rookie, Star Trek Picard, and you might have seen me get assassinated in uh, Shang-Chi. My name is Nathan People. I've worked on shows like Luke Cage, Marvel's Runaways, Cloak and Dagger. I'm most known for my role in UALA, My Hero Academia Hit the pose. reboot. Hit the pose. I'm Chris Cowan. <laughs> I stole you a cheap shot. <laughs> we are going to be coming up with specific bullet points that we can isolate from his fights to figure out exactly why they are so memorable. And then we're going to take those bullet points and use them as the foundation to create a fight scene. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's do it. I'm Let's excited. Let's do it. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, cage. The first rule of Jackie Chan fights is that people take hits. They do so well with fiddling the space. Like, there's hardly any egg. For it, that's exactly it. Oh, so explain the concept of egg, Nathan. Okay. So what is egg? Egg is... <laughs> what is egg? Egg is when you're the guy in the back and you're just waiting to get hit. And you're like, oh, you went in a little too early and you're like, oh. Right, you get, the, you get the timing Take wrong. Take your reaction, the timing's looks... wrong, it's when you stop performing. Great performers, there's no egg. They're feeling the space with their performance. And so it's the creative use of environment. That's like one of Jackie Chan's biggest strong suits is he uses absolutely everything. <laughs> he just butt dropped. No. That dude's face went into the ground. Yeah. A lot of his fights, he just shows himself being overwhelmed. The look on his face that he always has, he's backpedaling in a lot of these fights. The shot just keeps going and another person comes in. You think it's just gonna end here and then boom, that guy comes oh. in and gets him out of it. And one of the biggest things that you need to do a fight scene like this is a killer stunt, oh. stunt team. Jackie is working with absolutely top-notch people. Everyone's got to know the exact time that they're coming in and out. It's just a lot to coordinate, so you got to have a whole team that you really trust. They do a great job setting up fights. Oh, the shopping, shopping cart. Car. This is... This and then is through the... Like, it's never... Yes. It's never enough. He's got to use it all the way. He's like, all these bottles. I like his hat. You know, he always has some good <laughs> hat trick stuff. <laughs> Sometimes they'll have that little item shuffle that he does. It yes, just kind yes. of breaks up a fight scene and, and brings some more comedy to it. And then he's just right back into it. It's the speed and the intensity has to be there. That if you're going to try to make a fight scene like Jackie Chan, it has to be fast. It has to be intense. I said that's enough. It's the moments that he hits along the way. It's fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat, and then there's something special that happens, like the fridge bit. You remember the fridge bit. You remember the people getting hit with chairs. You remember shopping the, the, the shopping cart, right? Those are the, the moments that you remember because they're unique. Let me say just one thing. You want me to call the police? Wait. Wait. Yeah, there's always, there's always, sure. there's usually some sort of misunderstanding. He doesn't want to fight. Please tell me where you're he doesn't want to hurt people, which is, a, which, is what makes him a great character. And what I love about him is his technique isn't perfect. It's very... It's wild. Oh yeah, it's absolutely. chaotic. It's not cookie cutter clean. There are some fighters, their technique Donnie is... Yen, right, man. Donnie Yen or Tony Jaa. Like, yeah. Their technique is impeccable. They don't look like they're in danger. He's, you know, he's struggling right now. Oh! Small shots like that, right? Where he shows his feet, 
clench the broom and get ready to wind up and the audience is like, oh, here we go, baby. Yeah. I know it's about to happen. Right. That's gonna be shooting things and editing them in a clear way so that- A storytelling. So that people can see what's happening. He's so good at changing environments, like, cause he's constantly jumping around into new things. You know, it's first so it's fists, it's and then organic. it's uh, chair versus fists, then it's tables, you know, then it's this, Table versus and, chair. And now yeah, it's both yeah, versus exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's never a repeat sequence, and it always just feels like it just keeps going. So that's a lot. This definitely is intimidating, being a true master at work. We are gonna do our best to take some of these things that we have isolated and incorporate them into the Jackie Chan style fight that we're gonna create. I just stepped out of the gym to catch my breath. This is tough. I've got, I've got you know, a decent foundation when it comes to movement, but Jackie Chan is a lifelong martial artist. Just the speed and the intensity at which he moves you got if you're gonna try to be like Jackie Chan, then you gotta be able to do that. It's just tough. It's tough. But I know that the harder that I work now, the easier it's all gonna be and the better it's gonna look. I gotta put in the work now so it's easier later. Okay, so I found this playground. It's the perfect location for this type of fight. Look at it. You you have so much potential, just like the playground fight that we watched in Police Story. You get a lot of options when you're at a playground. We'll see what happens. I think it'll be great if I'm being chased by people and then I get cut off by more people. That's why I stop. We have this standoff moment. I don't want to fight. Crucial Jackie moment. And then fight starts. I like this spot. I don't know what I want to do here. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. The possibilities are endless. This freaking place is amazing. It's, it is, but it's... Why are there no children here? <laughs> yeah, it's a little overwhelming. No, it's okay. We'll do it one step at a time, right? Right. Stuntman number one. We got Kyle Sutterman back there. Interesting. <laughs> a wild breath meta appears. Find the bicycle. Yeah. It's it is super it. wide. Boom. Boom. Three, two. You gotta good? Get the cord or the top? The cord. cord, okay. You okay? I'm good, yeah. So we just finished the first rehearsal, technically the first and only rehearsal. It's a lot. There's a lot of choreography. It's very intricate choreography, which is good because if it's pulled off, it's gonna be exactly what we want it to be. It's gotta be fast, it's gotta be intense, it's gotta be fun, cool, creative, and everything. Using the pool energy is like pool. shoot in between three. I'm working with really, really great people, so if anybody can pull it off, we can. Um, this way or this towards, towards me, yeah. I'm not worried, but I'm, but I'm not not worried. So I have an idea for a video. It's, it's about creating a fight scene like Jackie Chan. Sounds simple enough. It's not because it's Jackie Chan. If you're gonna try to make something like Jackie Chan, it has to be good. And the thing that I'm worried about is that I'm not ready yet. But I understand that maybe I'll never be ready and I'm not going to actually find out unless I try. This here is our whole trusty tripod that we got. We have the tripod because we are doing a Jackie Chan inspired fight. What makes this even more complicated is how Jackie films. He tries to show you as much of the action as possible. When the, the camera angle movement, that means the actor, they don't know how to fight. I never move my camera, always steady. Y angle, let him see I jumping down, I do the flip, I do the fall. To me, this aspect of his action is as important as the fight choreography itself. And because I really wanna do justice to this, to Jackie Chan, we're gonna be shooting this entire fight on a tripod. Normally we'd be handheld, we'd be whipping that thing back and forth, we'd be on the gimbal, we'd be running around. But with this, you know, we gotta let the performers do the work. The amount that camera movement helps with action can't be overstated. 
So the lack of that camera movement is really going to test us as performers because we're not gonna have any camera tricks to hide behind. It's very necessary for the tripod with the fight that we're doing. It's a lot easier than doing all that like, stuff. Like doing what? Doing. <laughs> I'm just here by myself because I need more time. This group choreography is so intense and I have to make sure that I am ready on the day, that I've got the choreography immediately ready to go, that I can perform it at speed, that I don't mess anything up, that I don't hurt anybody. I'm gonna make these two days count so that I'm ready. Thank you. <laughs> I've put everything that I have into the prep. We studied Jackie Chan. We found the location. We found the people. We've got the choreography. Tonight was my last night of training. I'm ready to start shooting. Let's do this. Ready, and three, two, one, action. We're about halfway through the first shoot day. The shots that we've gotten so far, are, I'm very, very happy with. Let's go! It's gonna be hard to get everything in two days. Gonna have to make some adjustments along the way. But so far, it's, it's going good. We got great, great stunt people that we're working with right here. Hi, my name's Julia. My name's Kyle Soderman. My name is Cameron Okubo. My name is Jordan Okubo. My full name is Stanislav Tabirta. I go by Stan. I was a gymnast for about 20 years. Then I went to school for acting. Acting plus gymnast kind of equals stunt person. I'm a professional stunt performer as well as Ninja Warrior athlete and World Chase Tag professional parkour athlete. So Hawaiian Camp was what I got my black belt in. From there, I transitioned to XMA to do more of the extreme martial arts and competing route along with tricking. Uh, I come from a Kempo Karate background. It's a little bit of martial arts tricking here and there and then some extreme martial arts, but Kempo Karate is the main one. I was born in Moldova. I've been doing martial arts, competing martial arts, Taekwondo, Jeet Kune Do, Judo, Kali, Silat, Panatukin, Jun Fun. Oh, just that? Only those, <laughs> now. Jackie Chan has always been somebody that inspired me. Sunset? Set. set. Ready. In three, two, one, action. <laughs> you okay on that? I'll give an update of what happened yesterday. Had a little uh, accident with the briefcase. KO! It just is part of the nature of what we do. The shot looks great, and it's great behind the scenes footage, and I got a free makeup artist, because I do want to look like I've been getting beat up throughout this fight. We're at day two now. We've got Brett joining us today, and then we got Jordan Okubo. Now, it wouldn't be a true Jackie Chan style fight if you didn't have at least one complicated shot that you really had to work for. And for us, that was the briefcase toss. Two, one, action. Oh, 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 that was on me, I'm one, sorry. Action. Oh, oh, oh. Action. Oh, oh. Action. 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 Yeah, that was too far. Sorry. But I'm pleased to say, perseverance is key. Jackie, this is for you. Jackie. And three, two. One, action. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go! Oh, it Once we did that! And no briefcases were harmed in the making of this video. Uh, we had a little uh, case malfunction here. The plastic ring finally had its last leg and snapped. That thing's not coming off, man. I think we're good, though, now. Kyle says it. Kyle thinks we're good. A Kyle plus. Sodeman, seal of approval. I would go rock climbing with this. <laughs> I hope not. I definitely wouldn't. How's it going? Um, we weren't able to finish everything in two days, so we already have to, we're gonna have to shoot at least one more day to finish everything. Like, we're, we're in the right ballpark, but 
there's it's, it's just not there yet. It's good, but if Jackie Chan is the standard, if Jackie is the bar that we have set for ourselves, in my opinion, this does not live up to that. So I want to go back and reshoot this and make this as good as possible because that's the standard that we set for ourselves. I'm just looking at what I want to reshoot. Okay, so I'm currently editing right now, but I've actually encountered a problem. If you look at this shot closely, we have what's called a miss. It doesn't actually cover his face here, but I can fix that. I'm gonna duplicate the frame. Boom, I'm gonna draw a mask. If I turn the base layer off, you can see I just have that square remaining. Is now, I can move it. I can feather the edge a little bit. I'm gonna expand it in height. Tweak that just a little bit more. And then you add a sound effect. Looks super janky, right? There's no way that that's gonna look good in real time. Isn't that great? That looks so good. <laughs> that's how we fix it in post, y'all. It's 6 a.m. Today is the last day. My body hurts, my brain hurts, and we have 29 shots to get today in about eight hours. That's about one shot every 15 minutes. We have to do it. That's it, we, we just have to do it. But I believe in us. I believe in this great team that is working on this project with me, so. I'm not worried. Got you. All right, let's, let's set that right here. Sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Camera speed. Check some. Rolling? Yes, sir. Rolling. Roll. All right, we're rolling. And? Rolling. 78. Camera speed and sunset? Set. Sunset? Set. Set. Great. Sunset? Set. Let's okay. go again. Camera speeding. Keep rolling. Ready? Camera speeding. On you. Three, two, one, action. Action on you. He did it! He did it! He got it! That is a wrap! 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 Let's go, boys! That is a wrap! That is a wrap, ladies and gentlemen! Nathan, man behind the camera! Let's go out! That is a wrap. A riggedy wrap. And three, two, one. Okay, that's it. Fight is done. Now, there was one final thing that we didn't mention about what makes Jackie Chan fights so special, and it's that they're fun. Plain and simple, they are entertaining. So as much as I hope you enjoy the acting, the fight choreography, the story, the location, blah, 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 more than anything else, I hope that you have fun. Please enjoy our Jackie Chan style fight. Wait, 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 wait! Wait! I don't want to fight! Get the briefcase! I said I don't want to fight!